the guy that came up on stage after I played a, a subliminal film to bring people up on stage. So you'd watch the film and then you'd feel compelled to come up on stage, right? And each night, four or five people would come up. And this one guy came up and as he walked up on stage, he started throwing up in the audience. Um, he came up on stage and continued throwing up. This was at Cardiff, I think, St. David's Hall, I'm sure they remember. And he just didn't stop. And it was full on projectile, exorcist, like the whole thing. And he threw up on me, he threw up on the other volunteers, he threw up on people in the audience, and it just didn't stop. It was extraordinary. And then I remember this poor, I mean, bless her, this usher with a dustpan and brush, which is, I guess, all she could, all she could get in time, sort of reaching over the top of the stage like this and trying to sweep it up. So I send him back to his seat. He's continuing to throw up. That, that, that's stuck in the mind. Um, there was the, the guy, so at the Palace Theatre in, in London, which is a very tall theatre, so Harry Potter's there now, Les Mis was there for 20 years before. So it's very, very tall. And if you're up in the gods, you're almost like above the stage, and there's, I think there's four layers to it. Anyway, it's very high. And I didn't see this, but as I left the stage at the end of the show, somebody in that very front row, um, so they just kind of got the railing, then this enormous drop, sort of, I think, I think from what I gathered, leant back to let their wife pass and fell. They fell out the balcony. They missed the next level down and ended up landing in, this, in the lighting rig that was attached to the, the front of the circle, or whatever it was, it was underneath that, and was luckily pulled in uh, to safety. Um, so I missed it, but my God, that was, uh, that was horrendous.